Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Podcast racing fans and all you beaver lovers out there, we are back mid facility getting ready to do some high flying jump action. The rock drop jump is back, but we've got a twist inspired by the crazy antics over at Junkyard Joust. This is the Rock Drop Derby, folks. Oh, yeah, this is going to be something completely different. Tell you what we got going on. We've got 25 vehicles divided up into five teams. Five vehicle teams, one jump per vehicle. One centimeter on the landing ramp equals one point. Vehicles must remain upright for the points to be valid. And the team with the most amount of points wins. That's just kind of natural, but twist is all vehicles will stay on the track through the whole competition and that's going to make for a lot of traffic down at the bottom let's go meet the teams Team Beaverworks is a team made up of cars that have been out there racing in the world already at some of the excellent diecast racing facilities available out there on YouTube check that out Team Rally is some of the rally cars that we have had on the Rock Drop Jump before, including that excellent Lancia, who I believe is the current record holder, Porsches, and that little Honda. All right. The Mounties getting ready to protect and serve up some genuine destruction at the bottom of the Rock Drop Derby. They're in some Matchbox Dodge, Chargers, and Caprice Classics. Beauty. Team Trucks. Well, this is pretty self-explanatory, folks. There they are. They're a bunch of trucks, except for one wannabe truck, it looks like, in the middle there. Other than that, we got the Lambo, we've got some pickups, and we've got an off-roader. And last but not least, our favorites, we've got Team Superbird. we got a couple of Daytonas mixed inside there as well, but it's all the same thing. They say they're birds, and they got a great big wing on them, so they should fly. All right, the jump is ready. Let's get this going. The first Rock Drop Derby. Team Beaverworks leading the charge with the 69 Camaro. Down off the ramp, he's big air, puts it down nice and fall, just about actually slides out, but ends up catching a little edge there and throws it up on the roof. That means that that distance isn't going to count. That looked like it was a huge distance too. Get down to the uh, landing ramp and see what that was. 15.5 centimeters on the landing ramp, which would be 15.5 points if he was able to keep it upright. Going over top of the ramp, putting it down right there. This is the Camaro came back from Griffin Soul Racing. And they did the uh, older, newer tournament he had over there, but that one's on its lid. 15.5 centimeters, but the status is inverted. That means that score does not count unless somebody bumps him over. Going on with the Porsche 911 for Team Rally, second vehicle on the ramp. Here we go, he's going down and catches an edge. Doesn't make the distance. Looks like his rear axle hooked on the edge of the ramp. Just got upside down. That's going to be, looks like uh, looks like he ripped the bumper off the front of the tow truck too. And those uh, service workers aren't impressed about that by the way they're looking at all that. Then checking out the ramp cam right there. 0.0 centimeters equals zero on the landing ramp. And then upside down, it doesn't help either. There's some igloo replay, get the big air coming down. See, the distance is not covered. Rear axle hooks on the edge of the ramp and then they rip the bumper off the tow truck. Not good if you want to keep the uh, crews happy and taking care of your vehicles. Anyways, Team Rally gets zero on their first run. The Mounties got their first car loaded up in the chamber, getting ready to launch this thing, and here it goes! Matchbox Charger down off the ramp and bang into the Porsche! Look at that! Even helped him out, put him back on his wheels, but he didn't have any points, and makes an excellent slide out on the end there. Beautiful looking run there, and there's that Porsche on its wheels now. Let's go check out the distance from that Charger. Looks like he is down at around six centimeters for the Mounties, putting him on the scoreboard. All right, check out some igloo replay on that one, folks. Coming down over top of the ramp. Nice shape, gets all sideways and helps out the Porsche. That's what cops do. There you go, folks. Helping out some teammates and uh, staying upright for six centimeters on that jump and gets them on the scoreboard. 
First up for Team Trucks is going to be the Rambo Lambo coming down off the ramp. Let's see how he does. Nice air, nice and smooth on the landing and straight out the other side. Ends up on his side because he just plowed right into the back rail. Didn't even try and steer out of it and actually kind of creamed right into the Camaro. Ended up still on his side. Camaro didn't get back on his wheels. No help for anybody else, especially himself. Let's check out the distance. Gonna be six centimeters on the landing ramp, so potentially six centimeters if somebody was able to knock him back on his wheels. Checking out the igloo replay. There he is, looks good. Beautiful looking ride, nice and smooth, but uh, doesn't try and get sideways or anything and just careens right into the back rail. All right, there it is, Rambo Lamb is down with six centimeters potentially, but he is on his side. First of the modified vehicles and first for Team Superbird, this is the Slam Bird. He's got a lot of weight. He's got a lot of work done in this car and able to slide around and punches that Porsche back over on his side again. Man, that thing is going through a rough ride so far today and that Superbird is just sitting there nice and stable and all squatted down on the ground. There's a nice job done on that. Checking out the landing ramp at 6.5 centimeters. Putting Team Superbird on the map so far. Down, checking out the Igloo replay. Looks great. Gets a little tail high there. It's like he had the elevator all trimmed out. And he stays on the wheels out the other side. Knocks the Porsche back over again. 6.5 centimeters and stays upright. This was one of the first custom builds from Beaverworks. And talk about Beaverworks custom builds. Here's the Volkswagen Caddy. It's his first try on the ramp. Here he goes. Great air, great landing. Gives the Super Bird a bump and gets a nice parking spot at the back there. Nice run done by that little Volkswagen custom job. That thing came back from the Man Child Motorsports Mini Truck Tournament. Didn't do any good there, but did great on the ramp. Let's check out some distance. Nine centimeters for Team Beaverworks. Nice. Puts it down out the other side, checking out the igloo replay. This is how it's done. Keeps it nice and buttery off the ramp. Beautiful air. Sets it down on the landing ramp. Bumps the bird out of the way and gets a nice little parking spot at the back. Sweet looking run by that Volkswagen Caddy. Puts Beaverworks on the map with his first nine points from that nine centimeter jump. That's excellent. Second run for the Team Rally, and it's going to be the Porsche 928. This will be the second Porsche on the map. Let's see how this one does. Not bad air. Puts down on the ramp and is able to keep it on its wheels, so he's doing better than the other Porsche already. Gets a nice little blow around there after he taps off the back of Superbird. There he is, upright in the landing area. Let's go check out what the distance is on the ramp. He looks like he's putting down at 6.5 centimeters, they're calling it. All right, there he is, sliding out the end. Igloo replay. Team Rally second vehicle, and it's the Porsche. Ah, Porsche, and then a Porsche, one on its wheels, and this one slid out and did the job right. There it is, beautiful looking run, done by that 928 on the second run, 6.5 centimeters, and upright on the ramp means that points are going to stick. Here we go, second run for the Mounties. This one's going to be in the Caprice Classic. Look at this spaceship. Flying over top the ramp, gets some great air, does a great little rollover. Looks like he even tried to help the Porsche out again, but didn't do anything. And then did a little puppy rollover right there on the landing area and slams it right back down on its wheels, all nice and proud there beside his buddy. Let's go check out the distance on the landing ramp. Look at that, that was a huge jump coming in at 16 centimeters. Are you kidding? They're saying the front end actually did touch on the ramp before anything else, so that means that distance counts. Let's check it out on the replay. Oh man, they had to go back and check that one out on the slow-mo a few times to make a judgment on that, but that was 16 centimeters on the landing ramp, which is huge for the Mounties in that Caprice Classic. That brings their points over 20, and that makes them the team to beat. Team Trucks got their Toyota off-road all loaded up and ready to go for his run. Here he goes, he's down off the ramp, going in. No, he's in the pit. That did it, he wasn't able to get the speed coming down the ramp. We have a problem with those fat tire vehicles and look at that, not the distance and he ends up in the pit. That's not any good for the points right there. That's gonna be a 
whole bunch of zeros and no chance of recovery out of there. And we're leaving them in there, folks, because all vehicles land where they lie. And that's it for that. Toyota off-road right there ends up in the pit, checking out the replay right there. You see, gets up on the edges of the ramp. Those fat tire vehicles have a problem on the rock drop jump. And uh, that's why right there wasn't able to get it straight or over the ramp and ends up in the pit. Team Trucks with their second uh, vehicle going down gets a zero and is in the pit, which means they are not recovering. Bigger trucks would be doing a lot better on the jump. Anyways, here we go with the next one from the Superbird. We got the Bouncy Bird. This is the one that was all the suspension. Big jump and he's down on his wheel so far. And no, he rolls it right beside the other Superbird down on the uh, landing area. Smacks that Porsche out of the way. Lots of carnage going on but doesn't keep it on his wheels looks like he made a good distance too that could have helped the team out well maybe not he kind of nose dive in they're calling it two centimeters on the landing ramp that's one thing when you can keep your car level coming off that ramp anyways checking out the replay there he is yeah you can see he's nose diving right in right there a little too heavy on the front end and then gets upside down in the landing area which doesn't help the score out at all either there it is bouncy birds ended up with two centimeters and inverted which means that it's going to be the mounties that got a demanding lead after 10 rounds with a whole 22 points that looks excellent for those guys Team Trucks on the other end of the scale ends up with some disappointing rounds at zero points. We're going to have to see if they can pull that one out of the deficit coming up in the next couple of rounds. There's the 10 cars we got on the ground so far, folks. We got 15 more to go. That's going to be coming up in the next episode, folks. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and there's even that super thanks option down there. You can check that out if you like. Are the trucks going to be able to get onto the scoreboard? And are the Mounties going to hold on to that lead that's going to be coming up in the next rounds of this first version of the rock drop derby